Hey guys, today we are in Intercourse, Pennsylvania, in the Pennsylvania Amish country. Getting ready to just take you through the Kitchen Kettle Village and show you what shops they have. Now, we're not going to go in all of them, but we're going to show you every building here, everything they have to offer, where you can eat. Just a quick walkthrough. So, are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. So the first thing you want to do when you arrive is get you a map. There's the whole kitchen kettle village. Looks like they have about counting lodging and shopping and fun ride and activities. 46 things that you got there. There's your little map with all the numbers. Here it says there's 40. Over you 40 need. plus. Just think it's basically the same thing as we just showed you on the. Yep. Same kind of map. It's up there. We're out here by the road. We're going to start from out here, work our way back. We're going to walk down the street right along the main road. Show you a couple of the first buildings. Ten thousand villages. We have never been in this one. We'll walk up and take a look at the window. But before we do that, I want to show you. You can also stay here at places. Yarn shop. And if you want to stay here, there's the inn at the kitchen kettle. Don't know a lot about it. <clears throat> Have never stayed there. Let's just go take a quick peek. See what's in this one. Looks like a lot of pottery and items in here. Baskets. Looks like most of the stuff is all handmade. Dinosaur tracks. Jewelry. Some clothes. Just show you this before we leave. This is a wash mitten. It's kind of cute. Have an elephant and a cow. Those are $18.99. Just exited out the back side of that store. This is Village Handmade Quilt Gift Shop. So if you need some quilts, there's a place to go. It's a hot day. Bobby, have wine slushies in there. We know you like slushies. I like slushies, but I don't drink wine. So that won't do us any good. Oh, a winery. So now we're going to head into the main part of it. These are kind of on the outside. These are ones that might be easy to miss. That's the country life over there. I might take a quick peek in there because Bobby enjoys that store. Let's head in. A lot of country crafts and stuff in here. Pillows, signs. Have some stuff for the fall. Little pumpkins. They have some potpourri over there. Smells good in here. Mm -hmm. Look at all the different wreaths. We have some of these candles in our house. These are nice. We have some nice ones down here. We got the sunflower oh, one. Oh yeah. Pumpkin. They pumpkin. And they have one that says Amish country. Plenty of rugs in here. Coasters. There's a price on those rugs. Also, you go has an upstairs to it. There's lamps, linens, and accessories. Beautiful pictures in here. 
These are locally made. All right, let's head out, go to the next store. All right, we're gonna head over here to look at all these flowered pots. Looks pretty from here. What do you think? all the signs they have. I see one of my favorite stores, Girls' Day Out. Yep, Girls' Day Out, we'll check it out. We wanna show you some of these potted plants. Perfect Pots, a unique garden boutique. Look at the size of some of those. I hear the wind chimes. I know you like the wind chimes. So, sale on planters, $30. That meringue is really nice. Look at the size of that. That's really pretty. A lot of bees, though. Yep. Get too close. Did a good job on this, putting the flyers together. There's the wind chimes. A lot of planters, a lot of flowers. These are pretty. This one's a set of three for those. 138, the crosses are 49.99. This place brings in the tour buses, so it gets very crowded. We ask what one of these pots cost. Three seventy-five. Let's just show you a little more. Another store, the Happy Camper Outdoor Gear and Gifts. It says. Paul Prince. We'll probably walk by that when we go on the inside. It's a nice little store with the pots. A lot of nice flags too. Yeah. Very pretty. Uh, the lady said they also have smaller wind chimes inside the store. Tell us about what happened there yesterday, Bobby. Now, there was a really pretty purse, like that right there. It was on that mannequin. On that mannequin. And I was, knew I was coming back today, and I thought, well, I would wait and get it today. But when I went inside, that was the only one they had. So I figured I'd better get it. There it is. And, and you got um, the last one, it right? It was $15, and I was just chatting with another lady, and she said, I was going to get that purse. She had saw it, too. But it was the only one. I'm sure they'll get more. Yeah. But they have clothes and hats and jewelry in there and purses. Yeah, it's a pretty nice store. Construction here it says it's going to be expanded olive basin and a jewelry boutique in that one. That's a pretty good size for a couple stores. All right, so now let's head in. There's Bobby getting a seat. Pappy's Kettle Corn. We've had that, pretty decent. They have regular popcorn, I think, there also. You can smell the popcorn in there. This place sells old-fashioned hand-cooked potato chips and Lap Valley Farm homemade ice cream. Here are your prices if you want some of this kettle corn. That's the sizes of the bags. Also have caramel corn, roasted almonds, mixing the caramel corn up right over there. Bags and prices for that. Showed you a minute ago of that new store being built. This is what's going in it, the olive basin, so it must be going to expand. So right at the beginning, so if you're here and you need to know where the restrooms are at, right here. Also, if you didn't grab a map, there's a big map here and more brochures. Collectible store, handbags, jewelry, and accessories. Once we leave there, deer skin leather. That's a pretty good sized shop. I like seeing this, firehouse belts, but look, USA made. 
Well, as soon as we walked in and answered our question, it definitely smells like leather in here. Hats. Shoes. We just pan around. Pretty busy in here. There's this side of it. Let's go walk on the other side. I'll show you a couple prices. These boots with the flag on them, $210. What do you see, Bobby? Now these size purses are $242. 242 This is all leather. And these got kind of like handbags are $275. These shirts are $80. And there's a cowgirl shirt for $35. Leather jackets. Let's just take a quick peek at let's just pick this one. See what it costs. $449 for that one. Let me back up so you can see it. There you go. And some best. And they are. $114.99 for the vest. What do you think of that, Bobby? It's probably warm, but I don't think I would wear it. It's $259. Exiting the leather shop, headed down here. Ceramic shop back there. Pepper Lane, Fudge and Sweets. Mom's Pretzels. This is one of the restaurants that's in here. They used to be open on the outside here. They'd sell you hot dogs, french fries, and drinks. They don't do that anymore. You have to go into this Harvest Cafe. Let's see if they're open yet. Should be. It's like a cafeteria style. Let's just take a quick peek. Nice and cool in here. Plenty of seats. So you just go up, tell them what you want, and find yourself a seat. Looks like they have some coconut shrimp, different salads, and hamburgers. Never eaten here before, so we don't know how good it is. Maybe we'll do a vlog in here someday. There's a Roasted Rooster Coffee Company. And it says Christmas in July. So they have a white uh, Christmas mocha in there. Yeah. And Pretty hot to be drinking coffee. Caramel brew. There's a Country Life Cottage. Some pretty stuff in there. I think you can go inside. It's also, yeah, inside there. More. Now, this is the feature store, in my opinion, of this place the Jam and Relish Kitchen. We'll take a quick peek in there. That's might be my favorite one. I don't know. The Christmas store is pretty nice in here also. Jams and Relish Kitchen, established in 1954. Let's take a quick peek in here. Oh, so the Amish are in here making this stuff, but we're not going to film them. They're back, straight back. There's a lot of jams and jellies in here and you can still come up here and if you want to try some of it you get a sample it used to be you could just walk in here and sample it yourself but covid did away with that we like this don't we pineapple salsa yeah that's your favorite it is there's 8.99 for that beets you got some beets here i think one time too chow chow for 6.99 they have great pickles love the pickles here and it's this one, it's the one we like. The kicking pickle chips. So these are nice. You can get a single jar for $1.99 or this box of six for $11.99. You can try different different varieties of jelly. It's a good way of sampling everything, isn't it? Or you could send that to somebody probably through yeah. the mail. Now back in this far corner is a bakery. Let's just see what they have. They have some shoe fly pies. They're that. Cream cheese, cinnamon buns, peach streusel bread. I like the baskets for crackers. And then they have a basket for bread. Those are nice. You were looking at those yesterday. Okay. Apple fritters. There's shoe fly pies. 
some Whoopi Pies for $8.99, $4.99, and all kind of different cookies. We're gonna try the pretzels. We get a garlic butter pretzel and a strawberry lemonade. I'm gonna try the strawberry lemonade. It's tart, but you get the flavor of the strawberry. You'll really like that because John loves lemonade. Here it is. Garlic debated, butter. Debated about getting the garlic. I asked her how strong it was and she said they just kinda you, know, you can really see it, it on, on there, there, can't you? It's brushed mm -hmm. on good. Can and you smell it? Not real bad, not overly, but it's hot. That's fresh. See it there? That and is it's fresh. It's not overpowering of the garlic. So it's not that strong. I mean, you can taste it, but it's not like real bad. So if you're scared to walk around all day with stinky breath, <laughs> that probably not going to really do it to you. No, or just share it with your spouse or friends. Yeah. <laughs> They have some purses and handbags in here. Cloverfields bags and accessories. Also, Heritage Gallery Outdoor Art. Those are things that you like to put in the yard. Yeah, they have a lot of these in this store. This one just took a look inside the door. You weren't kidding, there's a lot in here. Mm -hmm. The snowman's for winter. Goes all the way around. I like the two snowmen together. Oh, it is pretty. There's your fall welcome ones. Pretty good assortment. All right, let's head over this way. By candlelight. Take a quick peek in here. Now well, those are different. Pretty. Let's take a walk back through here. Christmas items. What's that, Bobby? You cut the wick off, put it in there, and you can line them in the sand. Candle sand is what it's called, huh? How much is that? $18.99. Found a Halloween section. Some different items in here. Look at that little guy. It's cute. And the ghost. Pumpkin Hollow Farm. These are nice too. Put a candle in there. You put it on your porch or somewhere. Hang yeah, it is it. nice. How much are those? Yeah. We got for uh, $9.99. Not bad. So we walked out of By Candlelight, and next door is Anna's Captivating Designs. It's a bunch of hats and you like having this drawn. That guy right there will draw it for you. See how much it costs. One person, 16, two, 25. Two people in color, $35. Let's take a peek inside there. Another place you can stay in here, the Inn, the Village Overlook Suite. We're at the back side of this. We walk down this way, this be a really nice restaurant. It's only catering now, I think, called the, the Kling House. Gets down here. And these buggy rides used to be set up inside the kitchen kettle. So we'll walk across the street. Because they were when you first came in, where we kind of showed you where the popcorn and stuff, and that leather shop, they were right beside that, but now they're across the street. The art gallery. There's the restaurant. Klinghaus restaurant. Never been in there, heard great things about it. 
I hate that it's closed. I heard it was a staff shortage. Why they can't open it back up. Here are the prices. If you want a four mile country buggy ride, $22 for adults, 12 and under 11. Covered bridge, $28 and 14 for 12 and under. And the Amish farm tour, $36. Experience firsthand a ride to and tour a real working Amish farm. Just get in one of those and go for a ride if you're interested. How pretty it looks. See, you kind of see in the inside of it. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll open it back up and we'll come here, and try it out. I'm on the back side of the kitchen kettle. So you can come around if you're over here. Just cut through more part of the, the end. There's your rooms. A little place you can sit out here. Never even checked into that place to see what that would cost. Look how pretty though. You just walk straight through here. Head back in. We're at the back side. I'm gonna walk this way for a second. I think there's more rooms over here that you can stay in. Cottage guest rooms and bungalow. Yeah, there is. Let's just take a quick peek in. Beautiful flowers. The Inn Hershey Suite. Looks like a whole house. I guess you can stay in that. It just keeps going on. I didn't know all these were here. The Inn at Kitchen Kettle. Rooms 601 and 602. That says room 601. Guess you can get that whole house. And this one. Learn something today doing this. If you got a whole family, might want to come up here because it says 603 on that, on both those doors. So I guess you get the whole house and there's more back that way. Head back in, get down the other side. Have the gift house. Good vibes. There's what it looks like inside. And the Christmas shop. I always like going in there. Let's go take a peek. Love the pictures in here. Look at this. That's really nice. It's $320. These are nice too. We love these pictures. How they flash different colors. I always like the ceramic trees. That one's 170. And then they have, like if you, for your star breaks or something, they're $5. And they have some lights for three. You like these, don't you? And these are really nice. Some pretty ones. Look at this deer. <laughs> exited the Christmas store right beside it the jewelry bar come on in for exclusive charms I think there's a charm in there of an Amish buggy I came in to show it to you there's the little horse and buggy the Amish collection different charms and stuff Have the gallery and then you have um, restrooms more. Local artist. It's pretty. That's really pretty. The detail on that. It's nice too. Nice winter. Picture. That looks cold by looking it at does. that picture. These are bigger ones back here. The big wall for that whole store back here. 
We've been on this road with the covered bridge. Oh yeah, we have. So here's the store, just upstairs too. Dutchland, Dutchland Galleries. Dutchland Galleries. So when you come out of the Dutchland Galleries, more restrooms. I did not know those were here. When you come to the back, I noticed some more tables back here. If you want to come out here and get something, bring something here to eat or buy something in there. And the last one, because this is where we started showing you the cafe and all that down there. Age and Cured Cheese and Meat Shop. Stop by and try our featured samples. They have a grab and go lunch in here. Let's go take a look. Beef jerky. Let's take a look. Pack of beef jerky. $20.52 for that. That original. Sweet heat. Black pepper. Yeah, that's probably a little spicy. Look at all this stuff. Here's some hot sauces. Buy three, get one free. That's nice little sample bottles. Different meat sticks. I have alligator in there. Sauces. Oh, John, these look like grenades. And they are for a specific reason. <laughs> yeah. If you buy these, they help support military families. That's nice they do that. A lot of local meats in here. Bacon. There's something down here I wanted to show Bobby. She didn't see it yesterday. Right here it is. Look at that. Sexy olive mix. $19.99. Ever seen them that big? Some places now. I've never seen the red ones like that. And if you want a sample, they have a sampling station over there. But it just smells so good in here. At least it does for me. What do you think, Mom? You think it smells good? It does. I like beef sticks. I like to have some of those olives and some feta cheese. There's feta cheese in there. I'm going to take a little break and get some of the Lap Valley Farms real homemade ice cream. Maybe we're going to try chocolate marshmallow today. Prices are one scoop, four fifty, two scoops, seven dollars. You want it in a waffle cone? You want it in a regular cone or a dish? It's one scoop, four, two scoops, six fifty. There are all the different flavors. Chocolate marshmallow. Let's get some of this with the marshmallow. It's like eating uh, chocolate with uh, what's that stuff? Marshmallow cream. Mm -hmm. That's, That's probably what it is. Nice and creamy. Definitely need something. It's very hot out there. We're going to need to go to where this place is at and just do a vlog of the, the whole farm. It's a big attraction here and we've just never made it. So you guys as hot as we are, let's give them a bite, Bobby. We got enough here to share with them? I think so. Let's just go. Let's get them a cup creamy. Let's give them a nice piece like that. Got a little bit of marshmallow. There you guys go. Well guys, we hope you enjoyed our little walk through the kitchen kettle here in Intercourse, Pennsylvania. What did you think about your day, Bobby? Great place to come, do a little bit of shopping, get yourself a snack, or take some popcorn home, and sit and listen to the music. Yeah, how about that guy? He's going everything with his feet and everything. So we had a great time today, very hot. We went in a few shops. We couldn't go in all of them or the video would be two hours long. If you see some place you might want us to maybe do a whole store review, let us know. We had a good time though. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have, have left, left the building. building. Back on, cause we forgot to show you this one. I forgot this was even here, cause I don't smoke. But this is part of the kitchen kettle village John Hay cigars and while I'm standing here give a shout out to this hand rolled soft pretzel place you guys have never tried that make sure you do